colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. fam welcome back to the african diaspora news channel i am ongil zalalem bringing you this report today's report comes from nigeria a murder suspect won a prison beauty pageant and people are not happy about it she is in the correctional facility because she was suspected to murder a ceo a tv station ceo let me show you a clip of why she's in prison we'll come back and talk about it Following the advice of the Lagos State Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, the police withdrew from the prosecution of Chidima and others indicted in the murder of the late Usifo Ataga. The DPP, Mrs. Olayinka Deyemi, swiftly filed a nine counts charge against Chidima, her suspected key accomplice Adeda Pokwadri, and her sister Chioma Ibuchu from whom the late Ataga's iPhone 7 was said to have been recovered. In the charge dated August 31st, Chidima and Adidapo, listed as the first and second defendants, were named in counts 1 to 7, bordering on offenses of conspiracy, murder and forgery. They were specifically alleged to have murdered Ataga by stabbing him several times on the neck and chest with a knife. The charge also specifically alleged that they procured false access and UBA bank account statements of the late Ataga. They also allegedly forged an international passport and a driver's license in Chidima's name. So she's a suspect in this murder, a high profile, I might add. He was the CEO of um, Super TV. He's a businessman and it's unfortunate how he passed away um, it was a stabbing wound and they still haven't uh, found her guilty she's still a suspect and the trial is ongoing but it's it, it's sad however you look at it but the outrage came because people were like why are you first of all televising this she is a suspect this these people are suspects in that prison and the people that lost their loved ones to these people allegedly are mourning and are upset and they open their tv and see a pageant going on and it's the alleged murderer that that's just you know having fun on the catwalk or like being crowned a beauty queen it's hurtful was uh what people on twitter on social media were saying and the other side were disagreeing with the people that were mad they were arguing that this is actually a good thing instead of them just rotting in prison they are doing something productive and positive in their time in prison why just let them you know rot in prison was the other side of the argument but i understand both sides i i i do empathize but um i also get how televising this can really really hurt the people that lost their loved ones maybe if they're going to have the pageant or have um, an extra curriculum activity in the prison they just keep it in prison so that people from outside um, that are mourning their loved ones will not hurt even more because of how it's being handled and how it looks like they're having fun instead of paying the price for what they did i i get it but um it's sad however you look at it anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am on gilza lalem i'll see you on the next one bye hello everyone Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.